major general director pulled me to his office. He said this. I'll never forget this. His name was Brother Tryman Messer. I'm going to tell you this story. I'm done. He said, John, I'm talking about being a doulos. I'm trying to give you some examples in my own personal life. Brother Tryman Messer, I love him dearly. He's passed away, gone on to be with the Lord. Great man of God. Pulls me in his office. He said, John, I got one question for you. And we'd already signed the paperwork. He had slid all that stuff aside. He leans across his desk and he points his finger at me. And he says, look at me in my eyes. He said, is God calling you to Muscuda, Illinois? That's where we started the church and planted it. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, he is. No, no, no. He said, John, no. Look at me. He pointed again. He leaned further across the desk. Is God calling you to Muscuda, Illinois? And I respected this man greatly. I said, Brother Tryman, the best that I know, God's calling me. He said, let me ask you one more time. John, is God calling you to Muscuda, Illinois? At that moment, I'm thinking, what does this man know that I don't know? At that moment, I'm thinking, what in the world have I just gotten myself into? I said, Brother Tryman, I said, the best that I know, he is. I said, I've got the U-Haul truck out in the parking lot. It's pulling a trailer. I've got one of the preacher boys out of our church in North Carolina that has his truck that's loaded, and he's pulling a trailer. I've got my wife and my two kids. I've got my mother-in-law and my dog. <laughs> All in that U-Haul truck. Yes, we're going. Why do you ask? He said this. He said, John, there'll come a day. The reason I ask you this question, there'll come a day in your ministry, in your life, when the only thing that will keep you in that church plant and in that church and in Muscoota, Illinois, the only thing that will keep you is you knowing that God has called you. Wow. What solid advice. If he were alive today, I'd call him up and I would thank him for that advice. But then I would tell him, you're a little bit wrong. You say, how is he wrong? Because in my time here, there hasn't just been one thing there's been numerous things on why I should have left and why I should no longer be here. Other opportunities, a lot larger churches, denied them all. Why? Because I still know, as of today, that God has called me here. I don't know when I'll leave, but I know this, it'll be when God calls. Amen? I want to ask you, are you a doulos? Are you following God? Are you sold out to Him completely? Let's pray. Father.